Hi, this video will show you how to perform an inventory count with multiple locations. So if we go to inventory, configuration and locations, we can find two locations. The first one is the main location and the second one which I created recently. So first thing to do is to export the products which you want to perform an inventory count. I go to inventory, products, products. Make sure the products are storable product type. So if we go here and check the product type is storable. You can't perform an inventory on service or consumable product. So make sure you have a product type of storable product. After that, I have 42 products, so I can select them all. Then go to action and export. Before export, make sure you export the display name and not the product name because some products have the same name. The system cannot differentiate between them uh, in the inventory. So what you need, you need the display name, which is a combination between the internal reference and the name. Here I go to actions, export. I will get rid of all these. What I need is only the display name, display name. As you can see here, export. Now I exported the product template. This is the list of all the products I have here. I have 42 products with their display name, which is the barcode or the internal reference plus the name. After that, I have to add two more columns. The first column is the location or the counted quantities. Let's say this is the counted quantity like this ah sorry counted quantity the second location the second uh, 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 column will be the location so i will type location like this these are all my products i will uh, assign some random number for the quantities but before i do that i need to define location since i have two locations i need to repeat this list twice either i do the same products again copy them and paste them here or i do a different file so let's do a different file also after finishing this one so here i will assign some numbers random numbers like this for the counted quantity and for the location i have to go to the system again to udo and configuration locations i select the two locations and export display name as well display name as well here No, I have the display name of the two locations. I will start with the main location. So I will copy this and paste it here and paste it pretty much in everywhere like that. So this first list, I will name main location inventory. I will put it in desktop. Main location inventory for the second location i will remove the main location and remove also the quantities and assign new quantities for this second location let's say two, four and six that's the second location quantities counted quantity and this is the name so i will take the name and also paste it here like that and i will name the second file second location inventory second location inventory 
now I have these two files here. Sorry, this one should be main, not mail. Main. Like that. Main location. Inventory. So I have these two files. I need to import them into Udo. I will go here to Udo again. Let's go to the main page. Inventory. After that, operations and physical inventory. Here I will push this, actions and import records. Upload file. Here in the desktop, I will start with the main location. Inventory. Open. These are the three fields I need. The counted quantity, the display name and the location. I will test. Everything is fine, seems valid. We'll do import. Now I imported them all. This is the location, the main location, the product, the quantity on hand, the previous quantity, and the new quantity. This is the difference, and this is the date, and the name, and everything. I need to import the second location as well. So here, import records, upload file, and second location inventory also test and import here as you can see this is the second location and this is the main location the first one we have uploaded so now i have multiple locations inventory in the same file i need to validate them all how to do that just select I selected them, which is the 84 product. Then what I will do, apply. Here it will tell me what is the inventory reason. I will write whatever reason I want. I will say initial inventory. After that, update quantities. All quantities have been updated. If I go to product, let's choose this product, for example. If I go to quantity on hand, I can find the two locations, which is 20 and 12. Just uh, uh, last uh, comment. If you have product variant, you should go for product variants. Here I have only products. Uh, some uh, configurations have the product variant. So you should go to with product variant and not products. That's all. Thank you.